Page 3, Problem 10. Ms. Holiday won $1,500 on a scratch-off ticket. Never happened. Ms. Holiday is a math teacher. She knows the lottery is guaranteed to lose you money. Okay, here we go. She puts it into a checking account and sets up her Spotify account to deduct. That means subtract $15 every month. How much will be left in her account after three years? Huh. Well, first thing is, this is by month, and this is by year. So, I think we need to change the three years to some number of months, 12 months in a year. So, this turns out to be 36 months. How much will be left in her account? Well, the amount of money is always going to be the same as the original $1,500 minus $15 times the number of months. And that makes sense, right? Because she has $1,500. Spotify takes out the money for the first month, so it subtracts $15. The next month, another $15, and so forth. So, the amount of money is going to be equal to $1,500 minus $15 times 36 months. Because I already have done this on my calculator, 15 times 36 is $540. So the amount of money is going to be equal to $1,500 minus $540 or $960. It's all a fantasy. Miss Holiday is too smart to spend money on the lottery. She's a math teacher. But we have the answer to the question. The trick on this question, and sometimes there is one, is we have two different units of time. We have months here and years here. We have to keep our units consistent. Okay, $960. How much time will have passed when she has $810 in her account? Hmm. Well, we can use the same equation. The amount is equal to 1,500 minus 15 times m, the number of months, but this time we know the amount and we must figure out the number of months. So $810 is equal to $1,500 minus 15 times the number of months. I want the number of months all by itself game is always the same. So I subtract 1,500 from both sides. 810 minus 1,500 is equal to 1,500 minus 1,500 minus 15 times the number of months. 810 minus 1,500, because I've already done this once, is negative $690. And that's the same as negative 15 times the number of months. I now can divide both sides 
by negative 15. Why do I divide by negative 15? Game's always the same. I want this variable all by itself. Negative 15 divided by negative 15 is equal to 1. Oh, good. That's what I wanted. I wanted 1 month. Negative 690 divided by negative 15, it turns out, is 46. 46 is the number of months. 46 months, which it turns out is the same as 3 years and 10 months. Is that the only way to do this problem? No, but it's a good way and it works.